Whiff's Rescue. Whiff is a small tank engine who works hard at the Sodor waste dump. His job is to collect trucks of rubbish from all over the island and take it back to the dump. He loves this job a lot and likes to work with Scruff. Sometimes, if Whiff is lucky, he can be given a job outside the waste dump. It gives him a break and a chance to really see more of the island. One day, Whiff was getting ready for work when the Fat Controller arrived. Whiff, I have a special treat for you. How would you like to do some work on Thomas's branch line today? <gasps> oh, sir, yes, please. Good. I need you to deliver some empty trucks to the yards near Ellsbridge Station. They will be needed for delivery later today. Can you do that for me, please? Oh, yes, sir. Of course I will, sir. Whiff was excited. He hadn't been on Thomas's branch line for a long time. He hardly got to see Thomas or the other engines that much. So this gave him a chance to see his friends. Goodbye, Whiff. Enjoy yourself. Whiff set off with his train to Ellsbridge Station. He was pleased to be away from the waste dump. It felt nice for a chance to have a new job. This will be a great day for me. A day on Thomas's branch line will do me some good. Whiff arrived at the station, where Henry was waiting. He was surprised to see Whiff. Hello, Henry. Hello, Whiff. Why are you here? The fans controller has asked me to work on Thomas's branch line today. I'm to shunt these empty trucks into a siding. Is Thomas here yet? No, he isn't. He's late. I'm sure he'll be here soon. Whiff shunted trucks into a siding near the bridge. Then he went to take on water. As he was having his drink, Whiff was thinking what else he'd be doing to help Thomas. Maybe I'll have another jump to do when I get back to the station. When Whiff returned to the station, he saw the station was empty. The station master came to see him. I have a message for you from the Fat Controller, Whiff. Yes, sir. A goods train will be arriving soon and you are to shunt the trucks into the yards. Please make sure they are sorted out by the end of the day. Don't worry, sir. You can rely on me, sir. The station master went back to his office. Then Whiff looked at the clock. I wonder what's happened to Thomas. It's not like him to be late. Then he heard a whistle he knew well. It was Thomas. Thomas panted into the station. He was out of puff. Thomas, what happened to you? Hello, Whiff. Sorry, I had a breakdown. My side roads broke and Harvey had to bring me some new ones. Just then, Emily arrived to drop off some passengers. She was pleased to see Thomas and Whiff. Hello, Whiff. The Pack Controller has given you a new job, I see. I know. I'm waiting for a goods train to arrive. Then I'm to shunt them away. I'm pleased to see you here, Whiff. I do need some help here. I hope the train arrives soon. It will do, Whiff. Don't worry. Whiff smiled at Emily. It made him feel better. So while the passengers boarded their trains, Whiff was enjoying his rest. Some boys came over to see him, but I'm sorry to say they didn't seem nice at all. Oh my, look at this engine! He looks a right mess, doesn't he? When was the last time you had a wash down? Whiff gasped when he heard this. He didn't know what to say. I don't think he has a clean. He must be like this every day. You might want to improve your look, you dirty engine. But at the moment, you're kicking up a stick in the station. <laughs> Whiff was now feeling cross. He thought the boys were being rude. His face went red. Then he took a deep breath and blew a great cloud of steam. Steam blew everywhere and flew all over the station. The boys were surprised. They couldn't see a thing. One boy fell and landed on his hand. Ow! Oh, my 
my head! I've hurt my head! When the steam cleared, the boys were covered in ash. You clumsy great engine! Look what you've done to my clothes! You just wait! You'll pay for this! The station master came to see Whiff. He was not impressed. What was all that about? You know blowing steam in the stations is not acceptable at all. Look what you did to those boys. But sir, they started it. They were... I don't care who started it. You should know better than to do that sort of thing to them. I'll have no choice but to report this to the fat controller. The station master went to his telephone. Thomas and Emily were shocked by this. Whiff? What's the matter with you? That's not like you at all. Whiff didn't say a word. He didn't feel so clever at all now. All the passengers decided not to go anywhere near Whiff. When everyone was aboard the trains, the guard blew their whistles and Thomas and Emily set off on their journeys. Goodbye, Whiff. I'll come and speak to you when you're feeling calmer. But I... I... When the trains had gone, the station master came over to see Whiff. The fat controller is not impressed with your actions. He will have words with you when he gets here. In the meantime, you will stay here in the station until the fat controller arrives to see you. What? But see? That's an order, Whiff. You'll do as you're told, and you are not to go anywhere. Is that clear? Yes, sir. Whiff felt very miserable now. He couldn't believe what he had just been told. Oh dear, I have done it now. Time passed, and still the fat controller hadn't arrived, nor did the goods train. The station was very quiet, and nobody came to see Whiff. They were all too busy with their jobs. Whiff was thinking about what had happened earlier. I wish there was a way I could show how sorry I am. I didn't mean to cause all that trouble. I was just standing up for myself. As Whiff started to think about what he could do to make things right, the signalman rushed over to him. The goods train is stranded on the main line. Molly has run out of water, and we need an engine to go and rescue her. Oh my, what can we do? You'll have to go, Whiff. Whiff was surprised. Can't you get someone else to go, please? I'm not allowed to leave the station. Whiff, there is no other engine. You're the only engine available. If Molly and the goods train don't get through, then the next train coming in will be delayed. Whiff began to worry. He knew the tracks would be blocked for a long time if nobody could help Molly but he also knew he wasn't allowed to leave the station. He looked at the signalman, then thought about Molly and the goods train. So Whiff made a decision. Yes sir, I'll go and help her. Whiff's driver and fireman got him ready and Whiff was soon making steam. Then the driver pulled the lever and he set off to the rescue. The station master came to see what was going on. He was surprised to see Whiff heading into the distance. Whiff! Come back here! Whiff! Whiff made his way towards the bridge near the river. As he rounded the corner, he saw Molly was stuck halfway across the bridge. She looked very sad. When Molly saw Whiff, she was delighted. Whiff, am I glad to see you? It's alright, Molly. We'll have you at the station in no time. <laughs> Whiff was coupled up to Molly, and then everything was ready. Are you sure you can do it, Whiff? I'm heavy, and so is the train. I'll do it, Molly. I may be small, but I'm a strong engine. Whiff's driver opened the regulator, and slowly, Whiff gave a mighty heave. His wheels spun, his pistons pumped. Then, with a slip and a shove, 
we've managed to get Molly and her train moving again. Slowly but surely, the train made its way across the second half of the bridge and back onto dry land. The fishermen were so impressed, they clapped and cheered for Whiff. Go on, Whiff. That's my boy! Now, why aren't these fish biting today? Molly was right. She and her train were heavy. Whiff was determined to get the train to the station. The Fat Controller was waiting at Ellsbridge Station for Whiff. Emily brought the Fat Controller to see Whiff, but he was cross when he saw Whiff was nowhere to be seen. I saw him puffing away, sir. I don't know where he went. I hope he has a good reason for disobeying my orders. Emily was getting worried too. She didn't like seeing her friends in trouble. Then she heard a familiar whistle. <gasps> That's Whiff! Sure enough, the Fat Controller, the Station Master, the Porters and Emily watched this Whiff approach the station with Molly and her trucks. Thomas arrived with his guaranteed connection. He was shocked when he saw Whiff. Boss my buffers! It can't be true! But it was. Whiff pulled into the station with one final puff. He and Molly stopped beside the Fat Controller. Oh, Whiff, thank you. You're a hero. The Fat Controller and the Station Master looked at Whiff. What's the meaning of this, Whiff? Well, sir, I... Uh... I ran out of water, sir. Whiff came to my rescue. Molly's crew and the signalman told the Fat Controller what happened. Whiff listened. He was getting very worried. Then the Fat Controller turned his attention to Whiff. Well, Whiff, it seems you've turned things around. I'm not happy with what you did here in the station earlier. You do know there are better ways of dealing with naughty boys than blowing steam. I don't approve of that kind of behavior on my railway. Not ever. I understand, sir. I didn't think. I just wanted them to stop laughing at me. I know, Whiff. But you mustn't lose your temper like that. It's not a nice thing to do. Then the boys came over to see Whiff. Their mothers had come along and wanted to sort out the mess. Oh, boys! Good! Now, my engine Whiff has something he wants to say. Don't you, Whiff? Whiff gulped. He felt a bit frightened. Then he looked at his friends. They gave him a gentle smile. And Whiff took a deep breath and spoke. <sighs> I'm sorry I got you boys covered in ash. We're sorry too, Whiff. I guess we were a bit... Uh, being a bit naughty. We shouldn't have teased you in the first place. The mothers were pleased and the Fat Controller smiled. Well done, Whiff. You have managed to put right your mistake and you helped Molly when there were no other engines available. You have learnt an important lesson, and I think, in a way, it makes you a really useful engine. Whiff was so happy he blew a cloud of steam. The steam blew the Fat Controller's hat right off his head. Whiff felt embarrassed. Sorry, sir. I don't know what came over me. <laughs> Probably all that steam. Everyone laughed, even the Fat Controller, but Whiff was very happy to be a really useful engine once again. <laughs>